Okay. Yeah. So you you, uh, uh, you you mentioned yeah just now that you know that, that the uh, that the elites of some of they, they uh, not all of them wanted to join the Malaysian uh, the, the Malaysian agreement in 1963. I mean, not not all the, the elites. Some felt that Sarawak should be an independent country. Some felt that Malaysia should uh, Sarawak should join the Malaysia mm -hmm. Federation. So when Singapore left the, the uh, left Malaysia in 1965, I mean Singapore was expelled from uh, Malaysia. Was there any political change in East Malaysia? Um, Again, yes and no. <laughs> huh? uh, for such a uh, important issue uh, and uh, happening, uh, it, it, it's better to look at both sides. Uh. So it's yes and no. Uh, I start from no. I think no. Basically, Sarawak uh, will continue to be one, to be one of the federal state. Uh, to state of uh, uh, Malaysia, yeah. right? 1963. So, 1965, and later on, we are still the same. We Sarawak in general is still the same, okay? Because basically there is an agreement. Uh, many things are honoured, uh, but uh, of course uh, there are some yet to be honoured, which is common. Which is agreement cannot be fulfilled in one go okay? and it ups to the parliamentary and uh, to do it to the parliament and the politicians to do their job to get Malaysian agreement 1963 done properly and you know, satisfactory. So you can see that there is no no big problem, big problem here and there, but small problem is normal. Yeah? In the process of uh, forming a Good family. It was just a family that was just born in 1963, and Tugraman uh, and, and other pioneers in Sarawak, like Ong Ki Hui, James Wong, uh, uh, this uh, uh, Abang Johari's father, uh, Openg, uh, Openg now. So these are the people who were really working very hard. Tun Juga, so yeah, don't forget the Khan. All these people are very working very hard to maintain a harmonious uh, Malaysian society and for the good of Sarawak. Uh. So I say that uh, there is no, no problem with uh, the continuation uh, after Singapore was uh, used the word expel, I would say uh, there seems to be an inner agreement among the two parties, among the Malayan as well as Singapore parliament then. They were they will have different differences as a family and in order to accommodate uh, both uh, Singapore as well as Malaysia is uh, they, they can they part their ways. Uh, it is not so nice to see a country uh, uh, was uh, divided into two la. but uh, that time politically expediency is there. You know, you, you know, uh, one of the big things is uh, if you want to look at Malaysian politics, uh, actually vis-a-vis -vis the Indonesian politics, is the whole civilization was under uh, political threat uh, or security threat, namely communism. Right? Yeah, so the, the communism has been a, a problem, a uh, threat here, as so a challenge uh, for all for Malaysian society, as you know, Malaysian has a, has a basically is a constitutional monarchy. We have nine sultans, uh, and we have governors. So we have uh, different religious, uh, strong religious affiliation: Islam, Christian. All these are we are more or less against uh, communism ideology. Okay, and of course we know Marxist as a. Uh, uh, it believes in revolution. So here we go, uh, maybe it doesn't suit, doesn't suit Malaysian context or context. So at the end, uh, the truth prevailed, the, the democratic process under Tunggu Rahman uh, was uh, successful. 
even up to today. Lee Kuan Yew then was also under the same thing that time, as you see. Uh, so, but uh, all we were all under uh, all under British Commonwealth. So, in terms of national security, we are more or less all right. But still, then we look back in like Japanese occupation or during World War Second, uh, we we suffer a lot under British uh, uh, because the British can't even help themselves uh, in Britain, uh, in Great Britain. How can they help us? So that's why they let go of us and so on and so on. And under communist threat, we are equally suffering. Uh. And further, we we have confrontation. If you know this is the issue, that is, a, that is a sign or rather a reality we live in, in the post Cold War or in the Cold War, you know. Okay? So these are problems uh, that we have to face. The process of decolonization as well, we have to face it. And uh, so when the commune came out uh, in 1965, uh, Tunggu and Rahman and also the young politician then, Malay Malaysian in the parliament, uh, also come to, I would say, quite amicably sad but amicable, I would say, parted. But in a way, you can see Singapore is growing, Malaysia is growing, uh, and then both of us are under democratic country, Commonwealth, etc. So sometimes uh, family uh, need to move on uh, you know, because of different challenges. I, I see that as a good thing. Uh. Again, Singapore and China and Malaysia are still very good ties together. It's really Shawa and Singapore, they are very close. Those days, the Chinese come from Singapore to Sarawak, and uh, Sarawak people, a lot of those sell to Singapore and those to elsewhere. So, actually, Singapore was part of Nusantara as well, uh, in Johor, in Sumatra, in Malaya, of course, in Philippines. We are all under the, you know, between the islands. Countries, so it's just a uh, another big family. Yeah. So uh, okay, my next question to you is that.